Hey guys, Jordan Slickback Sunday. As promised, we're taking a look at Prelude, a collaboration between the Pomp and Flagship. It's a beautiful product that I can't wait to showcase for you guys. In case you didn't know, this product is still for sale even though it was kind of a limited and stuff and I'll have that linked below. Anyways, let's jump right into this presentation. So the Prelude is kind of a throwback to when homebrew products were a little bit more new, a little bit fresh, and we didn't have a lot of the things that we have nowadays in terms of production and quality labels and things like that. So things have really changed, but I love this product. It's simple, it's held in a nice amber jar, and we have the beautiful logo on the front. It's not your standard, just flat label. I like the fact that it's kind of cut into a unique shape. We have on one side the ingredients, very simple lists, beautiful front logo telling us the Pomp and Flagship collab, as well as using um, the actual Honda Preludes, uh, I believe it is their actual font choice. And then on the side, just to kind of throw back to the actual vehicle itself, we have some side uh, kind of decals that are familiar to uh, race cars. Opening up the jar now, we can take a look at the overall scent. Now this stuff is aggressive. It's a lemon or a um, spiced lemon and bergamot scent and it hits you hard and it hits you very pungently. It's warm, but it's oh so inviting. If anything puts off this product to most people, it's probably the scent here. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual product itself. Looking at the product, we can actually see the clay product or the clay ingredients inside both the kaolinite and bentonite, as well as I believe borax is in this formulation as well, which does sometimes clump up and look like clay products. Scooping it out is smooth, it's easy, and it doesn't really provide any resistance. Scooping it out though and breaking it down, it's sticky and you can immediately feel the tackiness and even a slickness factor for it. Um, and I do not feel the clays interrupting the product itself. Moving the product now into our palms, we can shine and show how this stuff works and see how it works application wise. As we stated, the breakdown is sticky, tacky, but you do get a little bit of slickness in there. Now this is more of a clay pomade, if I were to say, than your typical um, kind of styling clay or a texturizing clay. This is gets you a little bit more slickness, more close to an unorthodox water base, but with the texture added in. Going into the hair, this stuff is quite aggressive from start to finish, so if you are new to clay products. This one may rip some hairs out, just do the tackiness, but it should be an overall pretty easy process if you have um, more fine hair like I do. Going in for a scoop, all very easy. This one is a stronger product, so I do recommend either going with smaller scoops or anything like that, not to kind of oversaturate the hair. Overall, we're starting to get some texture coming through. The hair is really responsive. And you can feel the grip of the product really taking hold. Now, as I kind of stated earlier, this product works very well for my hair type and is one of the reasons why I kind of initially fall in love with it and why I wanted to bring a review to you guys. Added into the hair, styling was simple, easy, and it's pretty much done. Very simple, intuitive to work with. And we'll give you a final look of the style right here. Going into the overall um, performance of this product, this is a firm hold product, a true firm hold. It's not one of those ones that weighs your hair down or kind of lets, lets you feel kind of underrated. This is a definite firm in my opinion. Going from there, 
This is 100% matte in my hair, but occasionally it does leave a little bit of a shine to it, um, but it's more on the natural end. This is definitely a matte to natural styling hair, but it's not going to leave your hair uh, feeling dry or damaged. The slickness factor of this is gonna leave the product feeling a little bit nicer. There's some shea butter and other ingredients to kind of combat the dryness put in there by the clay. Texture, you probably will not find a product that has better texture than Prelude overall, hands down. Um, that's probably the main factor on why people really fell in love with this product is the texture and the responsiveness of the product. From there, uh, we've gone over the shine, the hold factor, it's control, it's intuitive, the stickiness and tackiness allows you to kind of move your hair, set it into place, and then remain where you put it. Gives you great volume. Um, considering my hair is a little bit longer, this is working quite well and overall a joyful experience from top to bottom. Uh, the washout is simple. It comes out very cleanly. I believe the clays and stuff kind of pull back the waxes and make it a little bit more um, refined in terms of washout. It's not gonna f leave your hair feeling amazing and great, but it's gonna leave your hair feeling just like you had it before you used the product. Uh, endurance wise, this stuff will last you pretty much all day. Being a clay product, it's not going to maintain its shape from start to finish, but as the day goes, you're gonna still have control of your hair, you're gonna still have the responsiveness of the product, but as the texture kind of develops throughout the day, you'll really embrace the kind of clay boy aspect that we get from this. So from top to bottom, this is a contender for probably one of my favorite products of all time. It definitely leans more towards a clay pomade, therefore need it more for longer hairstyles like I'm going through right now. Shorter hairstyles, it can often be a little bit too slick and potentially uh, not provide the dryness. Being a more tacky product, it may not work as well for a shorter style as there's not a lot enough hair to actually grab each other and bind itself. But I digress. So overall, an amazing product that I highly suggest. If you're looking for something that's a little bit different than that, than something on the market, this is probably one that I would suggest. And as I said, I'll have the link below so you can still take a look at it. It's not sold through flagship, it is sold through The Pomp. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you guys later.